Erev Tov, Chavri Man, Stephen Benun, you're watching Israeli News Live, and yet again, more breaking news here in the Middle East. Um, but before I go to the first uh, news order here uh, regarding the Middle East, I want to bring to your attention the AP, the Associated Press, has released a leaked document uh, of the ceasefire agreement that Russia has been calling for to be released for quite some time, and the United States has uh, not permitted that. Now, Russia has honored that they would not release the document, but somehow or another, the Associated Press has been able to get a hold of a leaked document of it. Russia, of course, uh, has stated already as well they've wanted to make this document uh, available to the public uh, from the very beginning because Russia said that if the world can see what's really going on, then we would know who actually has broken the ceasefire agreement inside of the Syrian territory. And one of the things that we're seeing here that I caught right off, and I have not fully uh, gone through the entire document, but I felt it was important to bring this to your attention uh, as of right now, says on D, uh, excuse me, and this is in paragraph one, on D-Day, uh, or day D, all parties of the cessation of hostilities, COH, in Syria will recommit to the COH, which is cessation of hostilities, and honor its terms in full as set forth in February 22, 2016, joint declaration of the Russian Federation and the United States for a 48-hour period. In particular, these terms include ceasing all attacks with any weapons. Okay, including aerial bombardments, rockets, mortars, anti-tank guided missiles, refraining from acquiring or seeking to acquire territory from other parties to the COH, cessation of hostilities, allowing humanitarian agencies rapid, safe, unhindered, and sustained access throughout areas under their operational control. Now, you might think at this point here, because of the date, February 22nd, 2016, that this is dealing uh, with something a long time ago. Undoubtedly, this is probably when these, this, these negotiations first began. The article clearly talks about even the crescent moon uh, aid that would be delivered, how it would be delivered, et cetera, as you go further into the article. But what I want to share with you here is that when the U.S. coalition come in and they attacked the Syrian army, they had broken the very agreement that they had brokered with Russia for the cessation of hostilities inside of Syria. And even though they claimed they were bombing ISIS, nonetheless, as it's been brought out by President Bashar al-Assad, they were directly targeting uh, the uh, Syrian army inside of Syria. But it was the mere fact that the agreement had already stated that they would not even do aerial bombardments. In other words, no planes of any kind would be dropping bombs inside of Syria during the cessation of hostilities, but just the opposite has occurred. Uh, so very disturbing to hear that. One other article I want to share with you here on Sputnik News here, Syrian politician to Sputnik states here, World War III has begun and it's being fought in Syria. Uh, it says Syria Social Nationalist Party representative Tarek Ahmad says that the war in Syria has reached a dead end and the intervention of the foreign powers turning the situation into a chaotic mess. Moreover, the politician says that Syria is just one front in a third world being waged by Washington and its allies. Guys, it's only going to get worse as the days go by. We are seeing the beginning of World War III in Syria, not it wasn't Ukraine this time that happens to be the, uh, the flashpoint of the World War III. It seems to be Syria. We're also seeing in other news there uh, that we don't have time to go into right now that it does seem that the United States may be planning a preemptive strike on North Korea. Uh, there is major plans in the works right now. That may happen. That could also set off nuclear warheads from North Korea. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov. Thank you.